Hey there, and welcome back to Silent Hunter 4, to the USS Seal, and this will, I think, from this point forward be known as the Chronicles of the USS Seal, because we did that for the previous three submarines that I did in this Let's Play, like, two years ago. So, this will be the Chronicles of the USS Seal, I'm happy with that. And, uh, we are in base right now, um, it seems like we've had a changing of the guard. I think some of these guys, uh, Robert L. McMillan, let's see if he's still here. No, Ovid K. McMillan. Okay, sometimes you'll get these guys right here will, um, will duplicate, and then sometimes you end up with a, like a boat full of duplicate people. Um, I'm gonna go through and, and sort these guys out, but first I just wanna check there's nothing new to put on my, on my ship. I'm pretty sure it's all my boat rather. Yeah, everything is pretty much normal except for these guys. I'll get to them in a minute. Uh, I don't think the Aces board no, has not been updated yet. So, you know, I mean it's only been well less than a month of the war so far, so you know that's that. Just check my gameplay settings are still the same. They are, that's good. It's always worth checking it because sometimes it decides to be funny. Anyway, uh, we are back and um, we're going to go out and sink some more ships, but I'm going to quickly check this stuff. I'm going to leave uh, at least two free slots for our uh, our damage control team, just in case we get the, the gun deck error. So I'm going to go through and check if there's any guys who are better at stuff than anyone who's currently on my crew, and then we will replace those guys. Even though like these guys have experience and such, um, it still might be better to replace them. So I'm going to go through and excuse me, check these guys and uh, I'll be back in a minute or so or well it'll be like a second for you but yeah all right I've made a few changes um, I've changed a few guys around the torpedo rooms I also have a new uh, a new guy to lead the damage control team he has 73 leadership which is really good um, his other stats are pretty poor but he's a really good leader so he should be able to really boost up the uh, the the cooperation of my damage control team. Uh, everyone else is pretty much unchanged. I did change the deck gunner as well. He's a new guy and we just missed a couple of guys because they weren't quite good enough. So that is that. Let's see what our mission is. Uh, it's like we're going up to Manila. Your submarine will take on board 27 tons of vital supplies needed by friendly troops in the Philippines. You will provide transportation of said supplies to your destination and make arrangements for delivery by inflatable craft. So, we're going to the same fucking place we went to last time. I say last time. That was... Yeah, we did that and then we got another patrol order which we didn't do. Okay, yeah, so... I, I thought I might be thinking of a, a different time I played through, but yes. This was uh, this was last time. Yes, so, yes, so now we are based out of Surabaya and we're spawning over here, which is nice. Now we need to go all the way up there, which is actually quite awkward. We're going to go through um, through the same way we went last time. I just want to check. There's no fucking tiny islands here. Yes, Two thirds ahead because that seems to be far more fuel efficient. We're going to go through here. I need to check through here that there's no fucking islands I'm going to smash into. There's one right there, but... Okay, once we're in this strait, we're okay. So, we go up here and then... Yeah, we're going to go straight through the Sulu Sea. Because that's fairly empty. There we go. And then we have a straight shot up to the top of the Sulu Sea. Yep. Up here slightly shallow water here, but that's okay. I'm going to go up here, and then up here, and around, because we can't go around the other way, it just takes way too long. So we'll go up through here, see if we can't find any shipping around here, come down and drop off some, yeah, some supplies there, and then we will probably go and see if we can't sink anything else up here, and then head back to base. Unfortunately, it doesn't mark where you sunk all your stuff on your other playthroughs or your other patrols, so we'll have to uh, use our imagination. But we did most of it up here, I think. There might have been a couple down here. So, we're on our way, and uh, let's get there, shall we? Okay, I've been getting plagued by ships. I've got ships, and um, by. Okay. Um, okay, I really don't know what just happened there. Um, I was going to say, I've been being plagued by by planes all day, and then I had a merchant contact, and then it sunk. 
I don't even know what happened there. That was really weird. I didn't get credit for that because it just sank on its own. Um, but yeah, a, a merchant sank here, and we were we were privy to it. But I don't know what the hell happened. Um, I don't even know if this was a friendly or an enemy. I mean, it was moving away, and then it just suddenly sank. So I really don't know. Oh well, never mind. Onwards. All right, I think I know what's happening here. There's so many planes about, and two just left right here. So. I think um, it was a friendly ship that got sunk by um, oh shit by uh, by enemy planes. I think that's what happened. That seems logical considering how many planes are right here. So so yeah, we're just gonna try and get through these th this thick swarm of planes and hopefully reach our destination. Looky what I found! I found that sunken ship. Um. Oh, oh yeah, that was a friendly ship, all right. And uh, it was blown in half. Yeah, that looks nasty. That was an Australian ship. Uh, what even was it? It was a well, it was a merchant ship. That's for damn sure. Uh, I think that was a split, like a medium split, maybe. But yeah, this thing got fucked up, like really badly. I mean, what the fuck is that? Seriously. But uh, I'm pretty sure that got torpedoed by planes and uh, and sunk. So, yeah, that's what that ship was. It wouldn't have been a target for me even if I'd seen it. So, it's a shame, but never mind. It's one less ship for the Allies. All right, major air action taking place in Rabul between us and Japanese forces. <laughs> I'd be advised of aircraft activity in the area. Yeah, I think I got that. Even though Rabul is like, where is Rabul? It's over here somewhere. Um, I don't know exactly. That's Davao. Yeah, I'm not sure where where Rabul is, but there sure is a shitload of planes around here. Uh, there we go. The weather is not exactly good. Yeah, there's been planes going over all day, like literally all day. It's been really frustrating. Literally, as soon as one goes away, another one pops up like that, you can see. It's, it's literally been like this all day. There's another one coming straight at me. So I'm having to go up and down periscope depth. Finally, at night time, they seem to leave up, so we'll see if we can actually get somewhere. We've got a merchant closing. I don't know if it's friendly or not. I have no idea whatsoever. It's over there on my left. Long range, slow and closing. All right, so... Let's mark down where it is there to okay it's sort of going opposite direction and parallel to us so it's gonna be like there so we want to take a left right here get ourselves turned that'll be good we'll straighten up right here and you want to get right close to that line it's actually slightly off that line so maybe that's exactly where we want to stop this looks good. Let's stop here. That looks pretty good to me. Alright, let's go periscope depth right here and wait for it to get closer. Oh, wait a minute. That is... Oh, that's a warship. Okay, so we've got a merchant and a warship. Well, that's interesting. Uh, I'm going to go back to the right. I think. Nope, nope. I'm always second guessing myself as to what direction I really want to be going, and it is back to the left. There we go, so I don't present quite as much of a target to uh, any any kind of sonar that that destroyer might or might not have. I don't think he does have any at this point in the war, but it's worth being a little bit careful just in case. So, yeah, the merchant is coming straight at me. There's the there's the destroyer. He's going to be so close. I actually really don't want to be here. Uh, where is he? Is that him? No. They're not like right in front of me. Oh wait, there's the destroyer. And there's the other ship. Hmm. I'm going to back off. I'm going to go slightly right. There we go, and I'm going to straighten the ship here, and I'm going to keep backing off. 
because we are way too close to where that destroyer is. Okay, he's uh, going back to his patrol route, that's a good thing. Fortunately the depth to keel here is pretty good. Oh, he's just changed direction. And he's coming straight at me, is he? No, he's just patrolling again, that's okay. I'm going to stop here because this looks like a good range. Let's put down the range for my torpedo. Oh, it's fucking miles. Yeah, he's easily within range. Alright, so there's the destroyer. Let's see if we can identify what the destroyer is. Japanese destroyer. Let's see. Distinguishing features. Uh, I think that's a Minikaze. A Mitsuki, that's what I meant. Um, yeah, Minikaze is. Uh, that one, no, it's Mitsuki. Because it's got that set up at the rear there, right like this. So that's a Mitsuki destroyer. 1700 tons. If it wasn't weaving about like that, I'd consider shooting it. Uh, I think there is another warship somewhere, but that's not what I'm interested in. This is what I'm interested in. A merchant that I don't know what it is. It's too far away for me to really be able to tell. Let's wait for it to get a bit closer. Yeah, the, the escorts have missed me entirely, which is good. Right, so that's got an interesting funnel on it. So, we want upright or rather 45 degree masts with a funky funnel. No, no, no. Medium modern split. Nope, it does not have that kind of. Oh, this could be it. Yes, medium modern composite. That is what it is. That is 4,466 tons. I will take that. Alright, range. About there. Angle is about that. Speed is, well, he's moving fairly slow, so probably about 7. Let's see what targeting computer says. It says you've got the range wrong and the angle slightly wrong. Is that thing turning? No, he's not turning. Alright, so the angle is more like that. And the range is uh, closer than I had it before. It's sort of there. That's better. How's the speed? Speed is dead on. Uh, I think if I fired one right here, I would actually hit it. So I actually want to fire two at this thing because I don't want to fuck around when there's uh, when there's destroyers around. So I want to make sure this gets the job done. So I'm going to put in two fairly low torpedoes, both contact influence. The second one will be a fast torpedo, or a high speed torpedo. <clears throat> I actually want to get the uh, the range right if I'm going to do this. Let's see, uh, about there. Is that better? It's mm, sort of. Let's, let's do this. Alright, angle is still slightly off, so that's the wrong button. That's a bit better. Right, now, range. About there. Is that closer? Much closer, and I've actually put the angle worse. Yeah, still not quite right, but... That's good enough for me. I'll fire the first one. Away goes that torpedo, and when it gets about a third of the distance... Uh, that's pretty close. Yep, we'll fire the fast one now as well. And they should, in theory, hit at pretty similar times. Okay, the fast one's going to be a bit slower than the, uh, than the first one, but here's the first one. It's going to hit. Oh, this could be a really good hit, actually. Oh, it's dead. So the second torpedo was unnecessary. It does mean the second one's going to hit. And it won't be long before it does. There it is. At least that goes to show that I hit with both torpedoes. And, you know, even though it was a, a wasted torpedo because it was already dead, I couldn't have known it was going to be a, a perfect hit. So, yeah, I'll take that. And seeing as though that is now dead and we have uh, destroyers in the area, 
I am going to just slowly sneak away. Uh, are they shooting at me? I heard something going pew. I might be getting shot at. There's the uh, there's that guy going down. I don't think these guys know where I am. But we'll see. They are turning towards me. I want to go... That sounds like someone's shooting at me. It really does. I don't think they are, but it sounds like they are. Alright, no, they don't seem to know where I am. That's fine, I'm going to straighten here and I'm going to just slowly, slowly back away. I have no interest in getting involved with these destroyers. They're not worth my torpedoes. Although, you know, if they'd wanted to run into that second torpedo that was not necessary, I wouldn't have minded that. What's the range on this guy? 5,000 yards, uh, yeah, that's like two and a half miles. I'm just gonna keep backing up, keep backing up, keep backing up. And we are moving away, that's good. All right, okay. I think now we can return to course, surface, and go two thirds ahead. We have, uh, I think, avoided these destroyers. Yep, we are good. So onwards to our next target. Oh, I should um, just check to see what that was. Oh, it, it wasn't what I thought it was. A small passenger carrier for uh, 1,700 tons. Well, okay, that sucks. Two torpedoes for that. Eh, kind of shitty. But small passenger carri carriers do tend to be invasion fleets or invasion ships. So I guess it was kind of worth doing. But yeah, I wouldn't have fired two torpedoes if I'd known that was a... Uh, if I'd known that's what it was, so my bad, my mistake, but uh, never mind, it was dark and it, it looked a lot like the other one, in fact I'm going to take a look at that, so what I thought it was, was a medium modern composite, oh yeah that's got the back thing, and it was a, uh, where are we, not a troop transport, this one, in my defence they do look fairly similar, um, back mast is a giveaway. I should have known that. Rookie mistake. Oh well, never mind. Onwards. So we got some pack news. I'm not really interested in that. But what we do have here is a slow moving ship that we are going to reach in nine hours. We might run into this. Maybe. I don't know. Uh, and I'm not going to go searching for it because going through here it could either go up here or it could come down here. Chances are it will actually come down towards us so we may run into this, sh this slow moving ship. Hopefully we will. Uh, if we do we'll engage, if we don't, well, you know, we don't. Alright, we have a merchant and a uh, destroyer closing. I'm going to stop because I think they're coming straight at me. I think. I'm not 100% sure but I'm I'm fairly sure. I just need this guy to move a little bit. Okay. Alright, so... It's not a happy warship there, apparently. Alright, so they're apparently behind us. Uh, yeah, that's two warships and a merchant. I'm just going to wait here. I'm going to go to periscope depth. I'm just going to wait. Oh, okay. This is a convoy. Um, okay. This could be awkward. Can we go any faster than this, please? There are a lot of warships here. And they're moving fast as well, which is interesting. <clears throat> there are a lot of warships. Like, a lot. And it doesn't really want to go very fast on the speed up thing, which I suppose is a good thing for me, really. Um. I'm not convinced I want to engage with these guys. It does seem like there's someone already nearby. That's the closest one, I think. Maybe that one. Yeah, there are a lot of dudes here. I'm going to go one third left, and we're going to actually move away from... This is actually not where I wanted to go. I wanted to go forward and left, but never mind. 
we're here now, so we may as well see what we've got. That'll be a destroyer, yeah. And he's coming like straight towards me, which kind of sucks. Uh, oh yeah, there he is. And that looks like a big thing over there. That could actually be... That's another big thing. There are some really big ships here. Destroyers. Lots of destroyers. And a couple of big ships. That could even be... Or rather, both of these could even be battleships. I would love to engage those. <clears throat> Let's go left and back some more. There we go. And... I'm going to straighten up here, but keep moving back. I would love it if that guy would stop coming straight towards me. That'd be great. Okay. I don't think they've spotted me yet. Let's see what we can see here. That's a destroyer. That's another destroyer right there. Those are either destroyers or cruisers. That's a battleship. That's... Uh, a cruiser? I want to say that's a cruiser. Is that the other big ship? Oh, there's another. There's a big one over there. That is very thin. I think that's a destroyer. Uh, something over there too. I think that might be a destroyer too. But that, that's a really big ship. And that is a pretty big ship. In fact, that's a very big ship. I want to know what that is. I want to know what that is too, because that is huge. I'm just going to take a quick look at the Amato. I don't think it is, but, you know, we can hope for the best, can't we? Let's get this head on. I don't think any of these are wide enough to be the Amato. But they could be Congos quite easily. It's so fucking dark, which is kind of helping me. Uh, let's see. This way, no. No, I don't think so anyway. No, it's too thin. It's likely to be a Congo if it's anything. Yeah, that's a Congo battleship. That's definitely a Congo. It's got that little um, little seaplane hanging off the back. And that's also a Congo. So we've got two Congo battleships. And I don't know what that is. That could also be a Congo battleship. But yeah, we definitely got two Congos. That's for absolutely certain. I really want to know what that is. I bet that's not a Congo. Could be an Ize. It's not going not to be a late war one. Could be a Fuso. Fuso. No, it's not the Amato. No, it's definitely not the Amato. If anything, it's another Congo, and uh, I think I'm okay with only having shots at two Congos. <clears throat> Alright, I'm going to stop yes, right here, and I'm going to start ranging these guys up. That's where this one is. Angle is like that speed they're moving fast so I'm gonna have to do a, a, a speed check on this 31 maybe uh, 31 is its maximum speed so that could be it uh, where are we We're looking at this one right here I've got that angle and range all off the angle is far more like that and the range is put the range like that. It's definitely a Congo. I know that for damn certain. Let's redo this. Uh, yeah, that's all wrong. Yeah, there's definitely another battleship over there. There's definitely a battleship there. Why have I got this so far wrong? I've got the range just terribly wrong. I really don't like how close... That's, that's a cruiser, I think. I can't be sure, and it's coming right at me. I need to back yes, up some more. Alright, I don't think they know that I'm here. I also want to take another look at that other ship. It's almost in front of me now. Where's that other big ship? 
the other battleship. Uh, I think that's it. Possibly. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty sure that the other, the other big ship is uh, another Congo. So I'm going to fire at this guy. Range is there. Angle is almost dead on. I think that the speed is just right, the range is all wrong, and the angle is all wrong. Alright, the angle is better, the range is wrong though. It's definitely a Congo though. I've got the range still wrong, and it's actually going a lot slower than 30, so it's going more like 26. Let's try 26. Let's rearrange this. Surely it's like that, and I've got his angle wrong still as well. Uh, okay, I've put his angle too much the other way, and he's going slower than 26. I don't like how close that guy is. He's more like that, and his speed is more like 20... maybe 18. I also don't like that that fucking ship is getting in front of my shot. Let's see range there. That range is all wrong. It's completely wrong. I am however going to fire all forward torpedoes at this guy. Actually, no. It might be better to wait for this one. Yeah, I'm going to start moving yes, back sir. again and we'll go a little bit left because I'll have a much better shot at this battleship right here that's coming up on me now. All right, let's stop, center the rudder. I want to unlock this one. I'll let that one go because I want to go after this one. That's another Congo. I thought it might be, but it is. Yes, sir. Uh, we're already at periscope depth. That was a misclick. Is it a Congo? No, that's not a Congo. It's not a Yamato. That's got entirely the wrong funnel. So what is it? That's a <sighs> Fukutaka heavy cruiser. Damn, I thought that was a battleship. Well, actually, in that case, that these ones could have been heavy battleships as well. I mean, heavy cruisers. Yeah, actually, yeah, those are heavy cruisers. Or at least that one is. Yeah, these are all heavy cruisers, actually, so I would never have gotten a battleship. His light is right on me. They know I'm here. I'm yes, fucking outy. No, this was, this was a bad idea. Uh, yeah. I'm just gonna. If you could go back up again, that'd be great. Yes, Quickly, sir. please. There's a cruiser right here. Oh god, he's like right on top of me. Oh good fucking god, yes, crash dive. Fucking move. Oh yeah, he knows we're here alright. We're about to get depth charged like a motherfucker. I was right to fucking try and get out of here. This is gonna hurt. A lot. Oh god, there's the depth charges. Ow. Oh, ow, ow, ow. Ow. Oh yeah, that fucking hurts. Alright. Uh, we need damage control immediately. Propeller shaft, bulkhead, diesel engine, electric engine, decoy launcher is damaged, but could have been a lot worse. Uh, did we take any hull damage? Passing thermal layer. No, we did not. Uh, we don't want to go that yes, deep. Sir. Okay. 
161, that'll do. We took no hull damage, so we can fix everything that we're currently, is currently broken. We'll see if the decoys actually work. Uh, yeah, the decoys are actually working. Alright, so that, that went very badly. Uh, fortunately, there are actually not any battleships there. I'm going fucking this way. Just gonna go one third, and I actually want to rig for silent run. No, yeah, silent running. We have flooding. Yeah, I know about that. Flooding is not my major concern right now. The flooding is minimal. We can deal with that. Uh, how's the crew? Injured, but okay. They will cover. None of them are dead. Actually, they're all fairly okay. They're not really badly injured. The AA gun guy is a little bit injured as well, but nothing we can't deal with. So. We're going to silent running, and we're just going to try to fucking escape right now, because, um, yeah, that, that, that could have been a hell of a lot worse than it was. Alright, everything repaired now. We're just getting the fuck out of here. I'm just going to keep going until my electric engines are fucking empty. Alright, they're moving away. Yeah, so that went very, very poorly. Um... Hmm. I was sure those were Congos, but no, heavy cruisers. That's a shame. I mean, the only only thing that really looked different about them was that single smokestack thing, and I was just way too close to that convoy there. I should not have been where I was. That was just silly of me. I think we're actually safe now. I'm going to come off silent running, uh, but we are going to keep moving underwater for a while, just until these soundings fuck off. Uh, I'm actually going to return to course right here. I think we're okay now, but I want to go a little bit further, just in case. We've still got a bit of lag here, which tends to mean there are still ships around. I'm going to go up to periscope depth, and uh, yeah, getting quite a lot of lag. And the lag is gone, so I think that they have disappeared now. Yeah, there we go. We're on the surface, everything is fine. Uh, I want to check my... No, not that. I want to check how everything is doing here. Propeller shaft is bit damaged but being fixed, decoy launcher is a bit damaged but being fixed, the crew is all okay again. Alright, that was a very close call. Um, those depth charges could have given us a very bad day, instead they just gave us a day of work, which is okay, I mean I'm happy with that. Yeah, that, that could have been that could have been the end easily right there. I, I should have taken the, uh, the clue that that battleship's light was directly on me to know that that was time to get out of here, not to stop and resurface, because that was fucking stupid. I basically gave him that attack, but oh well. It's okay, it worked out alright in the end, so so we're good. Uh, go back to two-thirds speed, and uh, watch the diesel fuel. We've only used 17% right now, which is nice, and we're going to continue onwards and try and find some easier targets. We have got a report of a slow-moving ship going north-northwest, which means it's coming somewhere towards me. So I'm actually going to alter my course a little bit, because I reckon I can run into it. Uh, that looks about right. We're going to follow that and see if we can't find out whatever this ship is and then sink it. We've got a warship closing at long range. Uh, I'm going to go right down to one-third ahead now. I'm hoping that it will just pass by behind me. Uh, looks like there's a couple of destroyers. That's okay, they don't seem to be aware of me. W.O. spotted. W.O. ship. I'm not sure what a W.O. ship is, to be honest. But um, I haven't been able to sink them in the past, so... Alright, that's... Yeah, that's definitely a destroyer, and I'm guessing that's probably a destroyer as well. Chances are it is. That look a lot taller than the other one, though. Let's have a look-see here. When it comes on the map, I might be able to see what it is. Nah, I don't know. Whatever, I'm not bothered. It's gone. We're still looking for this, uh... What's that? Small convoy. Well, that's interesting. I don't know where that small convoy would be going. Oh, okay, I was about to plot in a new course there. We've got a slow-moving merchant. That must be this guy. So... How far away is this dude? He is 10 miles away. Alright. This is my range. Give or take. And I want that to be... Well, I want to be... 
somewhere around here, I guess. So, let's turn to the left. I'm going to go back to two thirds ahead. There we go. Am I? I'm still submerged. I don't want to be submerged right now. There we go. And we'll go forward here. He's going really slow. Like, really slow. Alright, we're going to go full stop here, periscope depth, and we'll just wait for him to come to us. Oh wow, he's actually miles away. Alright, never mind. Surface, because he's just changed course. He's going like over that way somewhere. Uh, let's see, where's my nearest course marker? Down there. Okay, I can change that. Move that one to around about there this and yeah there it is and this one is going up here I wasn't too far off there I don't think he knows that I'm here I think he just had a course correction to make uh, let's see that goes there he is going like that I will intercept him around here so I want to be there. I'll go standard for now. I don't think he knows that we're here. I'm going to go down to periscope depth now. And this is looking pretty good. Let's keep going forward. That'll do nicely. We'll stop here. And we'll see what we've got. So, what do we have? In something interesting. That's got a thick funnel relatively speaking. It's not a warship, it's a merchant. Uh, it's got a thick funnel, so it's going to be up here somewhere. I don't think it's that. No, it's definitely not that. Actually, I want to just take a look. Um, well, it could be, actually. It's too far away to tell. It needs to be a lot, lot closer than that. That could be a modern passenger liner. It'd be nice if it was. I don't think it is, but no, the back is all wrong. It's not a passenger liner. Uh, let's see. Hold on, what was that one? No, it's not that. Not troop transports. No, 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 no. Maybe. No, has got enough funnels. I mean, masts. No, no. I doubt it. No. Maybe. Medium oil composite freighter. That's most likely so far. Uh, I don't think it's small. No, it's it's a medium oil composite freighter. Or is it a split? No, it's not a split. Uh, it's a medium oil composite freighter. Worth nearly 4,000 tons. It's worth a torpedo. Only a single one, mind you. Let's wait for it to get like right in front of me. Now, does that look like that to you? It looks like that to me, so yes, that is exactly what it is. Alright, range. We've got a crystal clear day, so we ought to get this perfect. I think it's like... That. Angle is like... That. Speed is going slow. I really don't think it's going 7, but I'm going to put 7 in and see what it says. It says I've got the angle wrong, but the range is pretty good. Is that better? Closer. Alright, speed. Speed looks pretty much perfect, but I've got the angle wrong quite badly. It's more like that. And... Pretty good. Speed is spot on. So, let's open up Bay 4. I should have all the bays, yeah, closed. So I'm pretty sure I, I opened them when I was going to attack that uh, the heavy destroyer. I want to put it slightly in front of where I'm actually aiming right now. I want a low speed contact 
influence, yeah, torpedo. I was gonna, I was debating whether to use a contact one, but no, we'll use kind of influence, torpedo depth of ten, and let's fire that one. Away goes the fish. Alrighty, where she goes. So let's see. Is she going to be a dud or not? Doesn't look to be a dud. Unless it's, yeah, it doesn't explode when it hits. Which it's going to. Oh, she's turning. But it's too little too late. I think. Hopefully. She might just be making a course correction, but she's definitely trying to turn. We're going to hit right in the middle. Pretty low. Did a lot of damage. We're going to surface because she has no guns. I don't know if she's going to go down from that or not. It doesn't look like she's taken a huge amount of damage from that. Maybe she has. She's definitely going down a little bit. But if she's going to sink or not, I don't know. She's definitely riding lower in the water at the back there. And I think she may even have stopped. Uh, I can still see some movement from the propellers. Right, uh, let's go uh, left a little bit. I need to learn my left from right, seriously. And we're on the surface, let's get as high as possible. And let's get on the gun. There she is over there. She's definitely lower in the rear right now. Let's stick a, 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 a AP shell in the front. That's really short. My bad. I probably should have measured the fucking range. But oh well, whatever. That was a hit. It didn't look like a hit, but it was. There was a flash of light, and that means it was a hit. We put some holes in the in the uh, under the waterline at the front. Then we can uh, ensure that she takes on water. She's definitely very low at the rear. Very low at the rear. Yeah, we're definitely hitting with those ones, but... Is she actually going to go down or not? I'm pretty sure we've knocked out the engines. I think she's stationary. Let's go full yes, left. Yes, Just go towards her. Straighten yes, the boat. Yes, sir. Yeah, she's definitely stationary. I don't think she's going to sink on her own. Or maybe she's either stationary or going really, really slowly, which is equally possible. But yeah, she's not going to go down on her own right now. So we're going to have to give her a helping hand with the AA, uh, not the AA gun, the uh, the deck gun. All oh, right, she's uh, she's too close to be shooting like that. Let's some more holes in her waterline. Let's just put a hole at the back because that's really where it's going to help. Shouldn't need more than a couple more. Oh, that looked like a good one. She's on fire now. And unit destroyed. There we go. Let's, uh, let's return to course. That might actually make us turn into her. Let's... Uh, Yes, sir. Let's go third. down to one. Th what is that? What is that? Yes, sir. I am going to investigate. Zero. Where'd it go? Could have been a whale, I suppose. I think there are some whales in this game. That's fucking weird. Well, down she goes. That's another, what, 4,000 tons, was it? Something like that? I could be wrong on what it was, but I'm pretty sure it was uh, about 4,000 tons. Let's have a look. That was, yep, medium old composite for just over 4,000 tons. What the fuck was that thing over here? I mean, I'm not going crazy, right? You guys saw a big, like, bump in the water with like steam and shit around it. 
the fuck was that? Where the fuck was it? No idea, but it appears to be gone now. Let's have a look through the periscope. It was somewhere in front of me. Well, I have no fucking idea, but it's gone now. So, oh well. One less thing to worry about. Let's uh, return to course. Two thirds speed. Yes, sir. And so that was this ship right here. Now there could be a small convoy coming over here, which would be going sort of like that. What speed are they going? Slow. So it's possible that I might catch these guys. We'll see, but um, I'm not holding up too much hope. Alright, we have arrived. Uh, I didn't intercept that convoy. I don't know where it went. It probably turned away before it got anywhere near me. So, we're in shallow water now. We should be getting near to the point where we're going to drop these guys off. Like, seriously. It'd be great if we would, because I really don't want to run aground. I really don't like these missions because of how close they make you get to the waterline. Or to the, the fucking coastline. I mean, look how close that shit is. I really don't like it when I have to get this close. Still moving. Still moving. Alright, I need to actually just keep going forward about a knot. Just wait until it tells me that, you know, we can fucking leave. Seriously? Come on. We actually I don't think we're actually making any headway. Let's, <laughs> let's put it up to three. Like, seriously. Would you please let me drop this fucking boat so I can go home? Or get on with my shit. Seriously, come on. Yes, sir. Right, let's, let's just fucking move in. Seriously, how close do I have to get? I do not like going into shallow water, okay? Yes, Seriously. Sir. What actually is the depth below my keel? It's gonna be like two fucking inches. Yeah, that, that, it's like a foot. Uh, really don't want to be here. Uh, but mm, I suppose it keeps this depth for quite a way. Oh, there's the there's the shoreline. Uh, yeah. So, right. I guess it wants me to go up over this way. Return to course. Right. I really don't want to run aground here, guys. Like, really don't. There we go, right. Um, I'll postpone. I'm going to back up and slow right the fuck down. Four, three, two, one, and we're now moving backwards. Let's. Uh, can I? Can I not do the mission now? Supply transfer. I want to. I want to do it, please. Um, why can't I do the mission now? Uh, is it one of these buttons? I don't have any abilities yet. Seriously, let me drop the fuckers off. Maybe I shouldn't have fucking yes, postponed. Alright. Yes, Stop. Why can't I fucking do this? There we go. Launch the boat. Back off. That's me colliding with the fucking lifeboat really loudly. I told you to back off. So it's possible we sank the fucking lifeboat. No, the lifeboat's fine. Alright, fine. Good. Ugh, I really hate these missions. I really do. But it's now over, so that's something, I suppose. Alright, so we're gonna go back, 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 back out of this fucking shitty water. And then where are we going? We're going north somewhere. Alright, that'll do. Let's go up this way. Two thirds, return to course. Alright, so we're going up this way. And uh, we'll see if we can't intercept some shipping up here. Because as you can see there's a um, small convoy, ship, task force. Yeah, there's a whole bunch of shit going on up here. So we'll go up here and see if we can't get some more, some more shipping to intercept. 
but uh, fucking hate those missions. Okay, so I was going to abandon the Luzon Strait because it's plain fucking hell here. Literally. Planes in hell. That's all it is, and because there's a ship over there, we never catch it. But there has just been one appear right here. It was reported uh, an hour and 40 minutes ago. And it is going... In fact, I'm not even going to bother doing that. I'm just going to set course for it. Uh, it's going somewhere down here. If I can grab this end, that'd be great. Alright, it's going... That's pretty good reckoning. It's going to be more like that. But we're going to uh, try and intercept this one. And we'll see if we can do it during the night. It'd be nice if we could. It's unlikely, but you know. He might get there in time, he might not. And it should be appearing any second. There it is. Slow moving merchant. Let's hang a right. There we go. He will slow. I'm not going to slow down. We're just going to go this way. Yeah, it's going pretty much parallel to where I am, which is nice. I'm going to stop right here and we will go to periscope depth and we'll wait for it to get closer. It's going to come right across my bow right here. This is pretty good. This is where I find out that I've parked too far away. I have parked too far away. That's kind of annoying. Oh well. Um, nah, fuck it. I'm going to use slow torpedoes anyway, so it's fine. I say that. The fucking weather is awful. Where is it? Fuck is it? Seriously? Yes, sir. Can't even see the damn thing. It's in front of me somewhere. There it is. What is that? I don't know. It's not that. That's for damn sure. Uh, it's got two flat. Yeah, it's this. It's a medium old split, and it does not have any guns on board. But I'm still going to torpedo it. So, range. Round about there. Angle is round about that. Speed is going slow, so 7. And that's pretty good. Speed is right, angle is wrong, but that's not too bad. In fact, it might actually be going slightly faster than that, but that's okay. Alright, so rough seas allow for that a little bit in the range. That's a bit better. Yeah, that's good. Alright, open up tube 4. We're going to have no spread on this. It's going to be low speed, contact influence, low in the water, fire. Away it goes. Okay, now then, let's see what we get. There's the torpedo, and it's dud. Either that, or the waves are too rough. I'm going to fire a second one, uh, just to see, and if this one also dies like that, then it's the, the waves and not the torpedoes. Alright, let's go depth of 10, contact influence, low speed, fire. That one's away. And let's see, can I still see it? No, I don't think so. Nope, the weather is too bad for torpedoes apparently. So we're going to surface and uh, we're going to go two thirds ahead and we're going to not return to course because the course is all the way over here. We're going to go down this way like this. Yeah, that's right. We're adjusting course just for you. Hope you feel special. Loved, almost. But obviously not you know, loved. You're just going to be shot, but you know, similar. So, range. Under a thousand yards. There it is. Let's uh, put it up to, say, 2,500 and try and knock that funnel off. Okay, I knocked half the bridge off. That's something, I suppose. That was a miss. Got to shoot earlier. Like there. It was a hit, but it wasn't exactly where I wanted it to be. Let's put it up to 
put it right there. There goes the funnel. A little bit lower and we'll try and take out the rest of the bridge. There we go. Um, I'll, I'll put one more guessing into it. I'm going to switch to HE. So I'm going to stick one right where I just put one. Right there. Well, there goes a lifeboat. Hope you guys weren't planning on using those. Because they're kind of gone now. And put another one right there. Alright, back to AP. And we're going to lower the range to 500. And put it right in the stern there. Hopefully knock out its engines. Probably won't, but it's worth a try. Let's turn right a little bit. So you've done some damage in the rear there. Doesn't look happy. Not sure how much damage we've done, but it's some at least. Let's stick right at the front up there. Be nice if this ship would just die now. Uh, that was really high. Why is that fire so high? Why are we shooting all the way up there? Fuck. That sounded really odd. Alright, let's yes, make a, a right. Yeah, you can you can dodge torpedoes by doing that, but you can't really dodge my gun. Unless something stupid happens. And you certainly can't, out, can't outrun me. Alright, so we're just going to pound this thing. I feel like a battleship, even though I'm clearly not. Let's put some nice damage on it. Getting nice clean hits though, so I'm happy with that. Definitely below the waterline with a lot of these hits. You can see by the water spraying up that we're getting below the waterline. Can we catch up with this guy a little bit? That'd be nice. Okay, we have to go to standard to catch up with yes, him. That's fine, we'll straighten the boat. Yes, and catch up. Oh, right, he's on fire quite badly. Let's, uh, let's just stop here. I reckon he might just go down on his own from here. Oh yeah, there we go. Enemy destroyed. Uh, let's, let, let's go, let's reverse. And it's actually slow fucking fast. I don't want to run into the corpse. Alright. And down she goes. Yes, sir. He's going to turn all the way over. And there we are. Just sitting on top of the corpse. And she's gone all the way inverted. That's uh, pretty harsh. All the way capsized. And down she goes. We did do a pretty good of demolishing that one as well, actually. Alright, I wonder if I can actually take these life rafts on board. I'm sure there's an order to somewhere sure where it would be. Hmm. Well, I guess not. Oh well. Doesn't seem to be any sailors in the water either, just empty life rafts. Anyway, yes, we're going to go back to two thirds and back to course and where are we going to go from here? I still want to get out of this area. Oh, there's something up there. A medium moving ship. Alright. We're going to go up here then and attempt to intercept. Oh, I'm hitting something. It's probably just wreckage. Yeah, it's just fucking lifeboats and wreckage. Alright, onwards. I keep forgetting to show what the ships are. Uh, that was a medium old split for 5,400 tons. I'm happy with that. Now, please stop making such loud noises. Alright, so we fired five torpedoes so far. We've gotten, what, maybe 10,000 tons. Uh, no one's injured anymore. We've taken no real damage. Everything is 
working in at 100% efficiency, so um, onwards. Well, we have a warship closing, and it's actually pretty close. Oh, there's three of them. Um, I was hoping to avoid these guys entirely, but actually it looks like we're actually going to drift right into their path, so I need to actually reverse here. Hopefully they won't come after me. Here they are. We're going to be really close to these guys. I'm just going to stop and take a look at them. Seas are pretty rough, so you might not get a good view of them. Seas are really rough. But I have no real interest in uh, engaging these guys, so we don't need to really have a good view of them. Yeah, I don't think we get to see them. Although, maybe when they get closer, we'll see. Go, go, go. I know, they're there. Keep going. Yeah, they're uh, doing something fucking weird there. They're off on a patrol over there. That's fine. Well, they can just fuck right off. Okay. We're good, let's return to course. We found the merchant. Here he is. He is approaching on the left. Why are we at standard speed? Let's turn left. There we go, that's good. We will go straight in the boat now. And yes, he's coming up over here. I want to be closer than this. That looks pretty good. We will stop periscope and wait. Oh yeah, he's really fucking close. Like, like really close, actually. Uh, range. Well, yeah, he's gonna be like fucking thousand yards away. What is it? It is there. That's an old engine aft. Surface. It's not worth a torpedo. Actually, it's more worth a torpedo than it is worth my deck gun ammo. Have I just given myself away? Maybe. I don't know, we'll see. Let's see if he changes course. No, okay, fine. Alright, I will hit him with a torpedo, but just because I don't want to waste my deck gun ammo on him. He doesn't have a gun, so you know. To put him what he is, he's a old engine aft, small old engine aft, this one, range is like zero, there, angle like that, speed seven, not even sure I can do much more than that, alright, that's um, good except for the fucking angle which is way off, that's a bit better, is he going faster than that, he is going faster than that, What's his maximum speed? Uh, 11. I don't think he's going 11, but he's certainly going faster than 7. If I put in 11, let's see what happens. Is he going 11? He is not going 11. He's going like 8. Which <clears throat> is more like 9. Let's put in 9. And the angle is still slightly off. Wow, that's actually really off. It's like that. Yeah, there we go. And yep, that's the correct speed. Let's reset this. Okay, open the tube. I'm gonna put a bit of a slant on it. You will have a uh, let's have a contact torpedo. We'll have it fairly high and we'll fire right there. Away it goes should be armed right now and here it goes oh that's flying torpedo and boom. <clears throat> there she goes that was a big explosion would not surprise me if she's already dead either way she has a massive hole in her oh no she's not dead because she's still steaming a little bit I would not be surprised if she explodes though we're gonna surface now that should save us a lot of deck gun ammo. Because these things are pretty fucking tough. Shitty, but tough. Alright, so it's not officially dead yet. There she is. Let's go head one third left. Oops. Yeah, she's uh, 
definitely not wanting to sink. If the old engine aft has anything going for it, it's that she's a tough son of a bitch. I told you to go left. Alright. We'll straighten right there. There we go. She's on fire. She's trying to get away, but she's not going to. She can't even reach half of her top speed right now. Alright, uh, I kind of want to use the anti-aircraft gun for this one. Let's get in front of it, or alongside it. There we go. Let's go to the AA gun, stick in some HE shells. See if we can't take off that funnel first. go back one third. Alright, let's uh, put some into the, the bridge. Actually, just go along the deck as well. So I'm never going to use the anti-aircraft gun against actual aircraft, so I may as well just fire it at the... Uh, How would you like to go down? Would that be fun for you? How, how many AP shells have I got? A lot. Alright, let's put some AP shells into it. Any time now. There we go. I'm just going to rake her along the sides. Seriously, can you please go down? Let's, uh, let's reverse on the left. Straighten now. Really shouldn't need to do any more than just like one AP shot somewhere. Let's just smash one right in there. I'll put one in the rear as well. And that really ought to be it. Let's stop. Are you gonna go down now? I will take off your funnel. Just because I want to. Can you please sink? I put one into the bridge as well. Can you please sink? Seriously, what the fuck are they making these things out of? <clears throat> like, really? Does not want to blow. Okay, that whole thing I said about saving deck gun shells, yeah. That was bullshit. Ignore everything I said. This is fucking retarded. Please die. Got to be going down, surely. There we go. Enemy unit destroyed. That is one tough boat. In future I might even let them go because they just take so much to sink and they're not worth it. Old engine aft. 1600 tons. Well, I suppose 1600 tons, yeah, it, it does add up. It's not great, but you know. Alright, so where will our next quarry be? Let's see. Do we have any more reports? We've got one over here. It's a fast moving ship, I'll never catch that. Uh, we've got a task force there. That's all going up towards Japan. We've got one over here, a small convoy, actually. That's not a bad idea. Let's go over and try and meet this convoy. Where are they going? A slow moving convoy, so we'll go up like that. In fact, let's go like here. Down goes the old engine aft. Down she goes very slowly as per her prerogative it seems alright got a fucking giant hole in it too alright so we're gonna go up that way we're not going standard we're going two-thirds we still got loads of fuel left which is really nice and we're gonna head back down this way but I really don't think that 
we have to go that much further down. Let's return to course. Alright, so we might catch this small convoy. We might not. I really want to, though, because a small convoy could be some really nice ships in there. So we'll see. <laughs> 